Hi guys, this is a quick video on the Citizen BN0016, the blue Orca. It's a big chunky watch. It's an old titanium except for the back side of, you know, the case back. Um, it's powered by the movement E168. It's a small tiny movement. If you open the case back down here, you're going to find a super tiny movement. It's an echo drive movement with date at three o'clock. The date, let me show you here, the date window is pretty small. Uh, it's extremely small there. Sometimes it's difficult to catch <clears throat> the, the date indeed. Um, it's an analog solar powered movement, quartz movement. Um, the cell, you know, the battery that it it's powered by, it's the MT621, uh, no jewels movement at all and the charge lasts for about 12 months so it's a very 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 uh, reliable piece uh, like so you can see here the domed crystal makes it absolutely gorgeous it's like you know the domed crystal on a monster sort of so to speak um it's called you know it's dubbed the, the orca citizen orca because of these sort of um, our indices, uh, which resemble the stripes of an, of an orca. And the bezel action here is poor, quite poor indeed, quite poor. And then there's a lot of back play down there as well. See, and it's got this sort of strange pattern, this sort of angled pattern here on top of it with these sort of, sort of indentations protruding from the bezel, okay? It's It's got a nice grip down there, easy to turn, but a lot of back play down there. See, you can, you can see. It's a 60 click bezel. And for some reason, it's got this sort of, see, there's a gap there. And I don't know, it's commonplace in some of the citizen watches. I don't know the use of this sort of, see, there's a, there's a gap there. I don't know what's the use, perhaps to lock the bezel, perhaps to rotate the bezel more freely. I'm not sure, but the action is not so, it's not that good. Like if you compare with the action on a monster, this one is much better. Well, it's 120 clicks down here, but anyway, you know, <clears throat> at this level, we should have here some, some beautiful action down there, but that's not the case. Let's talk about dimensions, side to side here, diameter, because it's a perfect round pattern here, perfect circle. It's 46 millimeter. Uh, the lock to lock distance is 50 to 51, 50, 50 50.5 millimeters. Uh, the width of this watch is 15 millimeters. So it's a, it's a big watch down there. Um, it weighs in 86 grams as well. So it's not heavy at all. Like for example, we know this guy down here, the monster is 100 and if I'm not mistaken, 86. Is it 86 or no, sorry, 122 grams against 86 down here. It's a big difference down there. Um, uh, what's strange here is the lock distance. It's only 15 millimeters down, down there. Okay, so let me show you. See from this tip to that tip there, the gap there is only 15 millimeters. So it's a strange dimension super strange strange dimension because this is a diver's watch it's a certified ISO 6425 certified watch uh, echo drive um, so titanium with the with the logo the citizen pro master logo down there so I don't know it was kind of strange and you find the logo here as well it's a signed crown as well at three o'clock so it's a good piece nevertheless, but it's, it's a strange piece indeed. Uh, the Orca. 
this is the blue one, BN0016, I think 04L, if I'm not mistaken, this is the blue Orca. Um, the minute's hand is tinted, see? It's in, it comes in, in orange. And I have a second Orca here, because I acquired these two together uh, at the same time. And I thought this Orca was a different um, reference number. It's not, it's the same reference number, BN0016 and 4L, 04L. Uh, but this watch has been exposed to the sun, heavily exposed to the sun. So the hand, the minute's hand there, um, when sort of faded away, see the color away? The, the color faded away a little bit. But it's preserved everything, like the loom is perfect here. Don't crystal, no scratches at all, in perfect condition. And as well, the case back has faded a little bit. See, you can barely see anything at all on the back there. And I believe the logo, the Citizen logo on the case back has been imprinted, like laser imprinted or something like that. Okay. There you go. The Orca, we have two Orca watches down here. Let's do a comparison with a Monster. So dimension-wise, the Monster is a tiny bit smaller than the Orca. So this is a huge watch, it's a bulky, bulky watch. Um, as well, the width of this watch is 15 millimeters, whereas the Orca, oh, sorry, the Monster is about 13.5, if I'm not mistaken. See, so it's a little smaller. Our monster is a little smaller down there. Uh, let me show you about the loom because this watch has an excellent loom. Uh, so we're gonna put the watch back on the key, on the stand here, the watch stand. I'm gonna put it side to side to the monster, and we're gonna do a a loom, a loom display here. I'm gonna show you, it's got a great loom anyway. It's got a great, great loom anyway. Um, so I think it's a typical blue loom, typical from some of the citizen, citizen watches down there. Let me turn off the light. And you can see here, you can see the loom is awesome. It's a beautiful, blue pattern down there so against your monster down here you can catch there the domed crystal and the lollipop uh, so there are two lollipops here uh, on both tips of the of the seconds hand uh, the loom the the bezel pip down there is um it's green, it's loom green. So there you go, guys. That's the Citizen Orca. Hope you liked the review. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, when I hit 500 viewers, I will probably give this Orca away, this one. It's an expensive watch. I just checked on Chrono 24. This is 600, about 600 US bucks. So these are hard to come by, not easy catch. It's not an easy catch. And I will probably give this one away uh, when I hit 500 subbies. Okay, thank you so much. Stay safe and see you in the next one.